My name is LeVar Thomas and I am KCC made. I didn't envision myself necessarily going to community college. In the back of my mind, it was like, you know, shoot for the four-year school. So now I'm in this community college, kind of confronting with this reality that I'm like, am I gonna take advantage of what's before me or am I just gonna be mad that this is this current situation? And Kingsborough provided that opportunity for me to not only gain a college experience, but also take advantage of valuable resources, build the connections, and build the tools needed for me to really make the transition to the next level. Kingsborough has the environment and the resources for us to really actualize ourselves. When I was at Lincoln, there was a, a retired math teacher that was taking students um, abroad to Europe as a part of a student exchange program. So when I found out about this club, um, I told my family and I'm like, you know, I, I learned about this trip, they're going to Spain this year. I, you know, haven't, and having gotten these parents, you know, I thought they were going to say, absolutely not, you can't go. But they, my family was like, absolutely. And I think being the youngest of three, my family was like, take advantage of these resources. Go, go take advantage of the opportunities. So I remember my dad wrote a check and he, he handed it to me to, to give it in. And that sophomore year, I went to Spain. And the next year I went to Italy, and then my senior year I went to France. And I didn't realize how important having those international experiences um, were in terms of my own development, my own perspective as a, as a brother growing up in Brownsville. After coming back, I just realized that the world was much bigger than my community. It, it helped me to see myself differently. It helped me to see like, you know what, I don't have to just limit myself to what I saw in Brownsville. But looking back, I didn't realize that those experiences were planting seeds for a global life. Um, when I transferred to Clark University after going to Kingsborough, it was my last semester. I was sitting in my, my advisor's office and she was just, you know, discussing next steps, getting ready to graduate, trying to think about what I'm going to work, am I going to go to grad school? And she told me about her Peace Corps service in Jordan. And that was the first time I heard about the Peace Corps. I didn't know what the Peace Corps was. You know, it's not the conventional thing to do. So I applied to the Peace Corps, hoping that I would go to Guyana. I get an email a year later, I'm going to Rwanda, East Africa. So you could imagine how shocked I was. I mean, the closest thing that I knew about Rwanda was Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> so that was my only reference to, to Rwanda. But um all the fears, every, everything that you can think of about just uprooting your life happened. Like it felt like my life was flipped upside down with that email. But then I said yes and I resigned from my job and I ended up moving to Rwanda for two years. I would say to anyone considering college, to consider community college and specifically Kingsborough, not because I went there, but I think if you're looking for an environment where you can grow academically, but you can also develop the, the support system. I would recommend community college in, in Kingsborough because I know that Kingsborough has staff dedicated and invested in ensuring that you have what you need to be the best version of yourself. And that's what I received. So I'm speaking from personal experience. I believe wholeheartedly that community colleges and the students that community colleges foster um, the greatest talent in the country just needing opportunity, chance, and time to be able to manifest and actualize that. My organization is called Leaders of the Free World. It's an international experience and leadership development program for young black men. And the primary purpose of it is to get students to rewrite a narrative of what's possible. Getting students to understand that international experiences can change their life and allow them to see themselves differently, but the world differently. They hold a pen to their narrative they can be the leaders they always wanted to be, that they can be the change they want to see in their communities. So that's what Leaders of the Free World is about. It's about empowering young black men to really be tomorrow's leaders. If I'm to be remembered for anything, I want to be remembered for helping individuals be a better version of themselves, that they can rewrite the limitations that may be been prescribed by the environment, and that they could live out their God-given purpose. My message to Kingsborough students would be take advantage of the opportunity of right now. Bloom where you are planted. Take advantage of the resources, the connections, the memories, the moments, everything that's happening to you right now. Be present, lean into it, and understand what your gifts are. Listen to where, you know, life is guiding you. 
you know, listen, listen to the opportunities that are coming about, listen to the challenges you've experienced, listen, and, and try to learn from those things because those very things are positioning you for what's to come. Keep grinding, stay focused, uh, keep giving back, but more importantly, don't forget where you come from.